So, overview of my presentation, I'll be talking about the Sustainable Development Goals, and then talking about Freshers' Fair, how we can improve it, how we can achieve the goals, and then I've come up with some proposals, and then you can ask me some questions. <laughs> so, a background to the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, there are 17 goals developed by the UN, and they came after the Millennium Development Goals and they're designed to promote a sustainable planet. So they're all interconnected. So say you're trying to promote gender equality, you might do that by increasing sanitation and um, education for women. So they're all connected. And so they're used to meet the plastic-free goals of the uni. So the ones I'm gonna be talking about today are 11, 12 and 14. Um, 11, because it will help achieve a more sustainable university community, 12, as I want to help the university limit its consumption, which I think will then help decrease production. And then 14 for life below water, because a reduction in intake and then waste will decrease litter into the marine environment. Um, so background to Freshers' Fair, this is my opinion and a few references. I think it's really important to the university community. It advertises... Um, different local businesses, different societies, it engages new students with the local community and vice versa. Um, it advertises and it gives opportunities for student engagement, be it well-being, sports, etc. Disclaimer, I'm not trying to be rude, I just think that we can improve. Um, yeah. So this is pictures from refreshers. So freshers is normally first month about September. Uh, this was refreshers, which was a few weeks ago. Smiley face is over the brand, so we're not picking at particular brands. <laughs> but you might guess because there are thousands of pieces of litter. Not only for last year, also for so many years. So this is just refreshers that has just happened. Um, so the bins, they were different bins, but I had the same picture of the same bins taken. Every hour, basically, they were filled, and then they were emptied, and they were filled, and they were emptied. So I didn't want to bore you with eight pictures of a bin. Um, uh, again, not talking about brands, just talking about the university and what happened. Loads of bags were handed out. Um, those blue things over there, they're lanyards, so a mixture of fabric, plastic, and metal. And they were all handed out and then just disposed of in a general waste bin, so that's not a recycle bin. Um... So we all know that plastic's bad. Um, plastic bags, uh, paper bags, sorry, take about 10 years to decompose in a landfill environment. And I'm assuming that they go to landfill because they're in the general waste bin. But if they were separated, amazing. Um, plastic, metal and fabric lanyards, it's really hard to age how long that they will take because if they're just in a landfill, then I assume that none of it will break down, whereas if they're taken to an incinerator, maybe the plastic and the fabric bit will, but the metal bit, metal bit might not be. Um, and in terms of bags, fabric is the most energy intensive to make, but they do last longest in life cycle assessment, so I think that they're the best. But feel free to disagree. I did a survey, another disclaimer. Eight people replied to the survey. Amazing. <laughs> did expect more, but it's fine. <laughs> um, so six out of eight people received bags, most of which received one or three, one to three, sorry. Uh, paper was the most common, then fabric, and then plastic. Everybody received paper flyers, of which most received one to four. Five out of eight people received freebies in disposable packaging, of which most received three or four. Six out of eight people noticed bins at the fair, but only one person noticed one that wasn't general waste. And everybody disagreed with the statement that the fair promotes sustainability and is plastic free. And one person mentioned a sustainable practice, which was some societies and businesses use a code. So you can get your phone, you can scan that code and you can get all the information instead of handing out a flyer. So that was awesome. I have some recommendations for the Freshers' Fair based on what people said in the survey and my own stuff. So don't give freebies and disposable packaging. Um, don't hand out flyers or have scannable codes. Don't give out disposable one-use lanyards or items. Give more, and when you have more, make them visible. Recycling options, especially outside. So I only noticed 
general waste bins outside, but I did notice um, recycling and food waste bins inside, but most people are outside in the fair. And then use online codes for discounts, which again will decrease waste and promote work towards the goals. Um, it should be said that this fair was pretty great compared to, well, not amazing, but it was pretty great compared to the original Freshers Fair this year. So there were fewer flyers being handed round, loads of scannable codes. Um, loads of societies had devices, so they brought a laptop or a tablet so that you could sign up instead of getting their flyer, which is another piece of paper. There were no plastic bags and no straws, which is great. Um, so areas for improvement. I think that we should encourage societies and companies to use codes, like I said. No packaging and communication is really key to achieving this. We need to talk to societies and they need to talk to the university and the union. And any packaging should be recyclable, recyclable or just limited. And then discourage bags. I think that they should be banned, um, apart from something I'll mention in a second. I think that non-recyclable items like individually wrapped sweets or a pen in a package. I think that doesn't need to be used. And then single-use food items like cups, we don't need those. Um, I've made two proposals for the fair. I think that we should have an app. So it can be one place to collect and store code, so you can scan, this is the society I want to join, this is a company, this is an event, event I'm interested in, and it will all come up. I think it reduces paper and packaging, promoting sustainable development goals. And then I think it could link to computer science, so it could be a work opportunity, they can help develop that app. And then the other one is a tote bag, so similarly, uh, one bag per student if you want it, you don't have to take it, and then all other bags discouraged or banned, and then again that could link with arts, so they can help design the bag, make the bag. Thanks. Thank you, Melissa. Um, anybody got any questions they'd like to ask? Over. Thank you. Just a quick one. That was a really good presentation. I really enjoyed that. Um, just a question about um, when you've mentioned we should probably, which I agree with you, we should you know ban so sort of giving out freebies that are like wrapped in plastic and pointless things like that. Do you have a suggestion how we could ensure that uh, the companies that are coming in to those freshest fairs don't just dispose of the plastic themselves before handing it back to the shoe? And so would we consider maybe looking at banning certain organisations from coming in uh, sort of to the freshest fair totally? Do you have any ideas how we could go about that? Yeah, that's a really interesting point, actually. Um, I hadn't considered that they might just get loads of packaging and then dispose of it and come to the fair without it. So definitely something to think about. Um, I think when I was talking about communication, it's really important. So we need to know the companies that are coming in. Most of them are just promoting sign up for this. So through communication, we can just say, bring an iPad with you, bring an own brand pad with you, bring a code. And then instead of, and it will just promote it will promote the brand and the, the university ethics. So we don't want bags, don't bring the bags, otherwise you can't come. And maybe that will help instead of having a freshers fair and then a sustainability fair like we had this year, maybe they could be together. Thank you. Anybody else got anything? Uh, I've got a couple, oh. sorry. <laughs> um, so the survey you did, First of all, how did you get that out there? Like, how were you? Were you just sharing that with societies, or just like on social media, or? So I used um, an online survey making thing, and then I shared that on Facebook to different societies and everyone on my course. Yeah. And then eight people replied. <laughs> so you... yeah, a future of the project would be I really want to link to the sustainability service or yeah. university and get that through emails or sign up at the end of a lecture kind of thing. I was about to say, like, linking up with, yeah. like, services it was, definitely helps. It helped. was sad. <laughs> yeah. I think, would you do it again, do you think, the survey? Or, yeah, definitely, yeah. because I think the most important Freshers' Fair is the one at the start of the year. Yeah. Because all the societies go, more companies go, and more students go, yeah. and members of the community go as well. Yeah. Whereas Refreshers is just a bit of the same. Yeah. Um... So definitely things to think about for cool. the first fair. 
And on the survey, do you... So you're asking questions about, like, things that people have come across, like single-use items or kind of what they'd experience. Do you ask anything on there about what they expect or about what they think is a good idea or a bad idea? Because kind of, I feel like with this kind of stuff, it's, a cult, it's like a culture change because, like, people just expect to have sweets in a bowl, right? Whereas, mm -hmm. like, if you gave them something else that was an alternative or just remove them, but that became the norm, then people just get, like, are okay with that. So I wasn't sure if you asked any sort of opinionated questions, like it's getting more qualitative data rather than quantitative. Yeah, definitely. So I made, for the presentation, I kind of made the qualitative data into numbers, but yeah. people did, there were areas where you could say things. Um, definitely, I agree, it has become the norm where you go to a society and they have a box of chocolates and each chocolate is in a package, mm. or they have stickers and you take a sticker and then there's a piece of paper and you don't really want the sticker anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I really enjoyed at the fair, there were societies, most of them were the welcome to our culture society mm -hmm. where they brought their own food and it was just in a box and so you could take it and the box was just a reusable thing. So maybe promoting that and, yeah. and shout out to the Environment Society, they did that so they had vegan things and you could just take it and then we washed the box. So yeah. maybe we could promote that. I think it's, kind of, it's like a... People are so you think like a throwaway attitude, don't they? They just like last minute buy things just to kind of promote. Whereas if you've like got more of a connection with the items you've got there, and then like brings people in to have more conversations with you as well. Yeah, so I, I definitely it's... think the. It's a shame, but one of the things about Precious Fair is you don't go to find out about things. You go to get free stuff. Mm. But if the free stuff is still there, it will promote more people. Yeah. But if the free stuff is maybe a cup, a cupcake, or a piece of cake, or. Yeah. A piece of fruit, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be better. Because I think students, they are not really intended to promote their such uh, unsustainable behavior in the fresh fair, but uh, for the companies or societies, they they want to promote their product or something else. They just uh, they just buy it easily. Uh, yeah, because they, it is easy for them. For is that uh, is that possible to let the union or s the organizer just uh, to have a policy or a ban that we we are going to hold a plastic free refresh fresh affair? Yeah, I think that will be a more direct way. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I think it all stems down to communication. I could use this project to talk to the union and I could talk to the uni and the sustainability service and we could say, let's look at the freshest fair. It's not great, but we do have these sustainable practices. And even just looking at that unknown pizza brand that I won't name, they could <laughs> easily just come with pizza mm -hmm. and you get the pizza if you have a hand to hold because the pizza lasts four seconds because you shove it in your face. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need a bag and then a lanyard to get a piece of paper, which also was on an app for no reason, and also flyers and also a napkin with each piece. Yes. And then they also handed out bags with discount vouchers. We could just say to whichever brand that might have been, just bring the pizza because we want pizza. And then everyone will think, oh, I remember that unknown pizza brand. I'm yeah. going to go there. Yeah. And the same with other things. There were some really good... Companies giving out reusable cups, and I think that we should really encourage that. If you're going to bring a product, make sure that it lasts, because it might have X brand name on, and then every time I have a cup, I remember that brand, instead of just a napkin that I throw away. Yes. Can you just say it again? Sorry. Yeah, have, you in, have you thought about involving the takeaways near our university or not only the takeaways, maybe the, the, the market, I mean, the disco or some? Have you thought to involve them in this idea? I personally haven't um, thought about doing that, but I am, in the presentation, I did talk about local companies and local brands, so that might be a really good idea because whatever pizza restaurant that was, they weren't necessarily a Leeds pizza place, whereas there's a Leeds pizza place opposite uni, or there's a thrift store, or there's, you know, a reusable shop. So maybe that would be a really good idea. So it's a Leeds university thing instead of a fair at Leeds. So, yeah.
Yeah, I think that's a really good good point to make because it's kind of bringing community stuff onto onto campus rather than just going to the big brands that got all the money already. Um, and just touching on that previous point that was made before about kind of having like a plastic free freshers. So the 2023 plastic free pledge that was made in 2018 was a joint pledge between the university and the union. So the union are on board with removing plastic. Um, and also we as a service are kind of installing a program called Blueprint, which is basically at lots of different teams across the university, and it, which includes um, like the conferencing team to try and help remove plastic from events and things like that. So work is being done, but we also need, I think what's quite hard is people know they don't want plastic, but we need people to shout about it a bit more. So the, what, the reason I was asking about the survey stuff that you're sending out would be really good if in the survey we had students responding saying, this is ridiculous, like, I, I, it's an outrage this is happening, because even if the students are saying and they want change, that puts even more pressure on the union and the university to make that difference, so. Yeah, definitely, a promotion of this, because probably the people that are here are already interested in sustainability, yeah. and you've probably all got your own water bottle or cup or whatever, but the people that aren't here are probably the people that we need to promote that to. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I agree. I just didn't want to overstep my bounds as a, I'm just a student doing this for my personal project and emailing everybody. But if the university was on board, absolutely. Just email us. <laughs> well, we'll get to everyone, don't okay. worry. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll move on to the next question, but that was great. Thank you.